So you want to make a game alone? Let me warn you, it's going to be twice as hard and take twice as long as you think. But here's the good news, you can do it. The difference between those who finish and those who quit is mindset and strategy. As a solo dev, you are responsible for everything. Story, art, sound design, level design, enemy AI, animation, visual effects, voice acting and much more. It's a mix of art and science and every step will test your patience. One moment you will feel like a genius, the next you will want to quit. If you start something, commit to finishing it, even if it's small. The habit of finishing is what separates successful indie devs from those who get stuck in the endless loop of unfinished projects. Make a mindset that you have to finish what you have started. Game development will take longer than you think. It always takes you twice as long to make a game as you think it's going to. If you think your game will take a 6 months, it will probably take a year. Unexpected bugs, redesigns, feature creep, these things will happen. The best way to survive is to plan for it from day 1. Set a deadline, 6 months, a year, 2 years, only you know your schedule. Double the time and effort you think it will take. This doesn't mean you should take forever, it means setting a realistic expectations so you don't burn out the halfway through. Organize yourself with a game design document. Before jumping into a development, write down everything. The story, what will be the core mechanics, controls, character personalities, target audience, mood of the game, theme of the game, etc. etc. This document keeps you on the track. It doesn't need to be fancy, just write it down so you're not lost. To help you, I have linked a game design document template in the description. Use it, duplicate it and start planning. Once you have a plan, don't build everything at once. Build a prototype or MVP minimum viable product. Focus on core gameplay only. No fancy graphics, no full levels, just test the mechanics. It will help you to iterate faster and refine quickly. This step saves you months of wasted effort because if your core gameplay isn't fun, adding better graphics won't fix it. After prototyping, polish it and make a demo out of it. Demo is a small portion of your final game. The quality of the demo should be the same as of your final game. It is just to give your audience a taste of what is coming. It's really hard to market a game without a demo as an indie dev. With a demo, player can give you feedback so you don't mess up the final launch. Demo is normally 15 minutes of your game that captures all the depth. Now you just have to expand the game and add more content. This will also make your quality consistent. Player expects from the game that is shown in the demo. If you have polished 15 minute demo, it would be much easier to start a Kickstarter campaign or contact a publisher. That's it. This video is just to motivate you and to get you started. Making a game alone is hard, but it is possible. The key is starting now. You can watch our latest video in which we are tier rating the best genre in terms of how easy to develop a specific genre and whether to make it in 2025 or not. What's the one thing holding you back from starting your game? Let me know in the comments. Until then, we will see you in the next one. Bye.